which I went in of course and um, the UK pavilion looks like the Union Jack This is the UK Pavilion and it's all about artificial intelligence. It said something about Stephen Hawkins, but frankly I don't know what he was trying to tell us. We're supposed to donate a word, everybody donates a word. One single word in the English language. Well, after all that messing about, we were invited to supply a word but we weren't told what the limits were. Um, is that it? Is that really it? So I selected my word and um, they didn't tell us about the limits so I selected a word which I knew nobody else would enter and I started to enter it and halfway through it cut me off and I asked the girl and she told me something 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 and I said yeah but how long can the word be? Oh 13 letters well that's not really very much good half the words of the English language are more than 13 letters so hmm I don't think very much to that not sure what the in that is but um looks quite nice isn't it it says here Schengen Lounge, come and taste a piece of Luxembourg. Is it the Luxembourg uh, pavilion, maybe? There ahead of us again is the Wassel Plaza, which is the centre of... Uh, yes, it is Luxembourg. Wassel Plaza is the exact centre of the, um, of the expo. Russia, which I've been in before, Turkmenistan. Angola. If it hadn't have been for the pandemic, this avenue would probably have been absolutely packed. Lots of these uh, interesting little fast food places, shawarma vibes, Burro Blanco. What a pity for them. They have to take place just at this time. And what do we see there? Ravi, the restaurant. I shall be going there. Korea. Oh, looks quite high. Oh dear, it looks like a little bit of a queue. Republic of Korea. I assume that's South Korea, but uh, not sure. And the queue seems to be very popular. So I've come out of the uh, Korean pavilion. It's uh, a little bit regimented, and I don't want to be regimented. Um, standing in a queue for a long time, and they're taking them in at about uh, batches of 20. So I said, no, nope, not going to wait any longer, sorry. Come back again sometime. Aqua Roots of Hungary. Uh -huh.
and uh, the Arabic name for Hungary apparently is um, Magyar and they call themselves of course the Magyars so um, congratulations uh, the Arabs they give them the correct name because of course Hungary is um, based on the word Hun and they're not Huns at all There seems to be some sort of uh, performance uh, arena, but nothing's happening at the moment. Oh, there seems some people in there though. Maybe there's a performance later. And this is the Irish village, and uh, it's not as busy as the other Irish village by the looks of things, but um, quite a pleasant decor. And I wonder if they're serving real beer. I suspect they are. This is the Kuwait Pavilion, the Netherlands and Singapore. Considering it's one of the smallest countries in the world, Singapore's got one of the biggest uh, pavilions, a freestanding pavilion. No, please, the Russians no end. Czech Republic have called their pavilion the Czech Spring. That's 130 kilograms of pure gold. Mm, I wonder. So now in the uh, Czech restaurant, having typical Czech meal, beef goulash with uh, dumplings and um, a dark Czech beer. Mm, tastes pretty authentic and the cook is a is a Czech national. Um, uh, some of the waitresses aren't. In fact, in fact, I would say all of the waitresses aren't. The manager seems to be. 